just me, or was that ad break? Ridiculously long today. Anyway, hello, darlings. I am glad you've come to join my suffering. Oh, this brings back memories. This was one of the first horror games I ever touched, and I never beat it. Infamously, this was the first game I tried streaming almost 10 years ago. And I never finished it. It's been so long that I actually don't remember anything about the game either, so this will be pretty much a first time playthrough. <laughs> but how are you darlings doing this evening? I see you've already piled in, Flemont. And hello, Lynn. I see you've also come to join the chaos. Quick question. Is the audio coming in alright? Am I coming in alright? Let's make sure that everything's good and golden before we begin. Wonderful, 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 wonderful. Fantastic. Sometimes this game likes being a little on the buggy side when run in windowed mode. So if at any point you see that the animations are not working correctly or the stream seems to be frozen, at least in the game perspective, please let me know. I may have to do a quick uh, restart. But other than that, it should be perfectly fine. But without further ado, Shall we begin? <laughs> Ooh, they implemented a hard mode. Interesting. No, I think we're perfectly content playing on normal, actually. I don't remember any of this game at all. Not a single thing. Don't forget. Some things mustn't be forgotten. The shadow hunting me. I must hurry. My name is Daniel. I live in London at... at... Uh, Mayfair. What have I done? This is crazy. Don't forget. Don't forget. I must stop him. Focus. My name is... Petals. The game's already trying to be romantic with me. Oh, I see. Oh. Our vision being this... Hard to... Oh. Excuse me? the door. Doesn't seem like I can do that. That's it. 
out of use. He is groggy. <gasps> Sorry! We didn't do that. Potential. say this candlestick is quite impressive if it can remain stuck to the table and not move when I hit it with the chair. Good architecture! Oh, Mr. Plant. Mr. Plant, come on. Venturing. Their first mistake was letting me pick up random objects. What the? No, 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 no. like that one bit. Nope. Stay right here where you're sitting. Is that a coat rack or a lever? Can't tell. <laughs> My car's extended warranty. Dragon. He has long mileage. Yeah. I'm rather fond of this plant already. I found it in the hallway. Honestly, I quite like it. The room would stop. Full sighting. It's quite nice. Oh, that didn't do anything. Thought it would break. Wow, that is one durable bottle. Oh, now you break! I literally threw you at the ground as hard as I could and you break by rolling down a stair. That was easier. Why did he put me this way? I don't see anything. Absolutely. How is that? Much better?
Was it too dark on stream? Fantastic. The game is supposed to be very, very dark. Especially considering that I don't have a light source right now. It's supposed to be on the dark side. Oh, okay. I'm guessing before you could. That's still all right? Little too bright. Come on, plant. Oh, don't break on me. We're more durable than this. I believe in you. If I can make it, you can make it. Whoa. Are the walls actually Or are they just feeling that way? Whoa, 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 whoa! Hey! Come on, come on, come on. Come on, you can get back up. Walls aren't doing it now. I didn't drop my plane. You can do it, Daniel. I can I help you? This place is mega haunted. Very, very, very haunted. Would call the priest immediately. It's dark in there. This is definitely haunted. Very majorly haunted. Moon's haunted level of haunted. Two rooms were now too dark to get. Oh yeah, that's uh that's dark. That's very dark. What do you guys think? Put our heads around in the uh deep dark rooms. Uh I think lemonade on the ground. I know what I'm going to get as a replacement. One moment. Trust me. I'm so sad. I was just going to gently put the plant down on the cabinet door. Where, Joffrey? There, you're much less breakable, aren't you? You've been through a lot guarding this castle the way that you have seen the things that you do 
been through what you have. I don't have to worry about you, do I? You're going to be a stale art companion. See? You can even handle the cabinets. Proud of you. Perfect! See? Nice and dirty. Alright. I'll try not to give you too much head trauma. How about that? You're gonna keep me safe from the dark, aren't you? Yes, yes, of course. Go there. I don't think you want to go in there yet. Uh, yeah, I think it's a head. A boss, a head. I will try very hard not to lose my head. Have my deepest assurances that I will try. Joffrey may be in here for the long run. Ah. Whoa! Hey now. Hey now. Hey, calm down. This room is... I see anything in this room that should be important. Alright! I had to poke in there and see. Hold still. Alright! Come on, Geoffrey. We have places to go, things to do, people to save, castles to explore. Uh, stay there for me, will you? <sighs> of course. I tried. Fell to the kitchen floor. Tears were beginning to well in his eyes as he received the first kick in his stomach. Hazel would be hit the top. That's too much. That was quick. Unfortunately. I'll have to be faster on this. Hey now. Skeptical of everything. Hi! Hello! Okay, there is light here, at least. What in the? Okay, apparently it's not enough light, according to him. Hello, Yaren! You missed the, uh, bug hallucinations. Hello! How are you? Welcome, darling. You didn't miss much. Uh, Geoffrey unfortunately left me. We had, uh, taken him from the front foyer, and he chose not to come along for our adventures. Very unfortunate. I was deeply looking forward to his, uh, companionship and protection. There. No. You know. It is very dark. Just got in this hallway and it's already very dark. It's like everything went out. <laughs> so you know what I'm in for, then. Well, truth be told, I said this at the beginning of the stream. Ah, oh, finally, light. I infinitely tried to stream this game ten years ago, when I very, 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 very first started trying to experiment as a streamer. And 
couldn't do it. Couldn't beat the game. Got too scared. Quit halfway through, I think, and I remember nothing. So it's a brand new playthrough for me because it's been so long that I don't remember a single thing. But for fun. Chose death. Also, Vlamont here is taking a good care of the stream today. They're going to be making sure that the infamous ad breaks do not sneak up on anybody. In addition to letting me know if there are any strange technical difficulties. Oh, <gasps> plant! Placement plan. Come here. Hello, darling. I have an inventory. I have an inventory. Lamont is our champion multitasker today. I don't have a plant friend. Plant friends are too fragile, apparently. Oh, which one, Flemont? Pokemon or Minecraft? I do enjoy both. I wouldn't mind streaming some Minecraft for some time. Maybe if I do get too scared, this will become a Minecraft stream. My heart going a thousand miles an hour. Down. Hey, 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 calm down. It's just the chandeliers. They do that, you know. Pixelmon. I've actually never heard of Pixelmon. What is that? <gasps> I don't think that opens. Definitely doesn't open. It amuses me how the game is just... No! You must be afraid of the dark. How was I able to touch that with my bare hand? I'm not gonna ask. Oh, really? How do I tell what my sanity is? Oh, I have a slight headache. Well, that's my normal state of being. I mean, I'm constantly on the borderline insane when I have a slight headache. That happens a lot. Thank you for the warning that 
I'll be sure to keep that in mind. But for now, I'm assuming it's safe. didn't break but it's a glass bottle wow those are exceptionally durable August 1839. I wish I could ask how much you remember. I don't know if there will be anything left after I consume this drink. Don't be afraid, Daniel. I can't tell you why, but know this. I choose to forget. Try to find comfort and strength in that fact. There is a purpose. You are my final effort to put things right. God willing, the name Alexander of Brandenburg still invokes bitter anger in you. If not, this will sound horrible. Go to the inner sanctum, find Alexander, and kill him. His body is old and weak, and yours, young and strong. He will be no match for you. One last thing. A shadow is following you. It's a living nightmare, breaking down reality. I have tried everything, and there is no way to fight back. You need to escape it as long as you can. Redeem us both, Daniel. Descend into the darkness where Alexander waits and murder him. Your former self, Daniel. Now that was just rather interesting. It's just, oh yes, you need to go down and kill this man. Oh, and by the way, yours truly, Daniel. Formal and upbeat at the end. Man truly is the same. And I just met him. Actually, I haven't met him. I'm currently possessing him. Down. There we go. Okay, goodbye. No, no, no. A fragrant taste of rose lingered in his mouth. Turkish delights, he thought. Just like the ones at the concert over there. Well, at least it's a little bit brighter now. Yes, I get it. You're wind. You're noisy. You've greeted me about seven times already. Pigeons here. Alexander, is it inside the castle? In a manner of speaking. Come, bring the lamp. You've been to the refinery, have you not? I don't believe I have. Is it connected to the... What did you call it? The inner sanctum. My most precious chamber, Daniel. And it lies well beyond the refinery. In fact, it lies beneath the very stone of Brennenberg. Blocked by a giant stick. Lemons, would you mind coming down here and tenderizing it?
Thank you, darling. Oh, why are you here? Go on. Go, 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 go. Go. Into the walls. I will squish. The uh, box seems to be ineffective against the hallucinations, just tried, failed, definitely ineffective. No, 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 no. Okay, fine. I get it. I can't go that way. Could have just said so. I went off with your hissing. I almost stepped in that. That would have been horrible. I think we may need to go that way. Oh, that's caved in. Ooh, to my head. Nice. Did we come in from? So we have an option between the archives. Oh, okay. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Don't self, don't jump. Oh, I went through the spider web. I went through the spider web. I saw it in the corner of my eye. Laboratory with the wine cellar. Alright, darlings, where are we going first? I am letting you choose. We have the archives, the laboratory, or the wine cellar. Where are we headed? I'm assuming we need to go through the flesh. Wine cellar? Alright. They were out here. Will not open without a key. All right, so that knocks that down. So we have a choice between the laboratory or the archives. down to two places. So where to next? Archives or the laboratory?
Archives? Alright, I'll head upstairs then. I heard the woman screaming from the laboratory, I think. Oh, those are outside. slammed shut behind him and he knew he would never again see the old tailor at Berkeley Square. Another loan sold in London. Oh! At least this is nice and well lit. of May, 1839. The unflinching African sun has continued to plague our expedition, making it impossible to dig until dusk. How Professor Herbert managed to find the location in these vast plains of nothingness remains a mystery to me. When I asked him about the tomb again, he told me about the legend of Tin Hanan, the mother of us all. An interesting story in its own right, but I can't help feeling there's more. Later that evening, we uncovered a passage beneath the dunes leading to a sand-covered stone structure. The professor was confident it was the tomb we sought and ordered the others to clear the way late into the dark, cold night. Tomorrow, I shall lead the men into the ancient structure, hoping to reach the burial chamber. No matter what the professor is keeping from me, the dig should yield something interesting to take back to London and the British Museum. Oh, he worked for the British Museum. That means he could have gotten into anything. There either. Well, that was interesting. Sounds like somebody was digging around in things they shouldn't have. Now I know how to ground, so that should come in handy later. More than enough to spare. He'll be sparing with them. Helm's contract. I hereby offer my full attention and services to Alexander, Baron of Brennenburg. This contract will reign for a total of three years when my freedom shall return to me. In addition, Alexander, Baron of Brennenburg, is recommended is to recommend my services at the Perusian Monument and within the sanctum of the Order of the Black Eagle. May no man break this seal. House of Grey. Man has a bodyguard. Failed vengeance. I do have a feeling that might come to Scoot! Oh, it's not going to be that bad. All right. Hello. Oh, 
fuck was that? Please tell me I'm not the only one that heard moaning. Back is too. Seventeenth of May, eighteen thirty nine. My hands tremble as I write. I feel a need to document my tribulation, for I fear that my memory will fail me if I linger. Today, I took some men and ventured into the dark, ancient passage we uncovered. Our torches burned faintly in the murky air as we slowly made our way underground. The men were superstitious and fearful. They argued loudly, and I felt their strange language getting to me. I mustered my strength and yelled at them to continue down the slopes and broken steps. The crudely carved passage confused me. It looked much older than the fourth century structure we had expected. The twisting path emerged into a great antechamber. The walls were lined with statues unlike any I'd ever seen. Despite their unearthly quality, I felt a strange familiarity toward them, which haunts me still. At the far end of the chamber, a great slab of stone sealed off whatever lay ahead. I gave the order to raise it, and as I pushed through the narrow space, the heavy stone suddenly dropped, sealing me inside. I was trapped. Well, how did you escape then? You're obviously here. Yes, please, don't leave me alone. I can't do horror games by myself. Please don't abandon me. You are pure courage. I may look completely fine, but I assure you I am not. I am an absolute chicken when it comes to horror games. like that. That's the piano. I know, oh, I know I can use the light, the t t tinder box to light the candles. I am just being very, uh, hush. Very worried about running. That's a negative. That's not going to budge. Whoa! 
Fine, I can't open your record. Sworn that was the piano. If I'm being an idiot, by all means, since you've seen this game played a lot, Yaren. If you see me being a little too sparing with the tinder boxes, by all means, let me know. Because I, I, I have this thing where I'm always paranoid of running out of supplies. I'm one of those I'd rather have it on me and need it than in need and not have it. Definitely let me know. like a horse or cow very demented cow ugh what are these things Oh, thank goodness, you offer. Stay there for me. <gasps> what enough? Was that a cave in? Whoa, 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 whoa. Calm down, calm down, calm down. 17th of May, 1839. After pounding the unforgiving stone wall for what seemed like an eternity, I realized it was hopeless. I was trapped. I fell to the ground, gasping for air, trying to focus. That's when I saw a faint blue shimmer. My weakened body was heavy to carry, but I managed to push myself toward the enchanting light. Claustrophobic. Ha! Hey, it listen! Waiting for me. Enclosed in dark nothingness, I felt myself drawn to the mystic light. I reached out. Closing it in my hands. The faint glow escaped my fingers and began to spark brightly and spirit me away, unlocking alien memories of spiraling towers, endless deserts, and impossible geometry. The next thing I can remember is the grating sound of stone being lifted, the voices of the Arabs pulling me to safety, and grasped Firmly in my hands was the broken pieces of a most peculiar relic. And yourself, come on.
There's that piano again. At least now we know how he got out. Don't mind if I do. And it's the one right in this hallway as well. Much of the castle is old and hasn't been tended to for centuries. When the shadow arrives, it won't take long until things start falling apart. We're just buying time anyway. Let's do what we can. There isn't much to be done about the wars. We should reinforce weak structures. The ground will tremble and there's a risk everything will cave in on us. Especially downstairs. Here, here, and there. Let's get the servants working on it. They were preparing for the shadow. What's the shadow? but not breakable by hand, it says, when I just broke it by hand. You have to be swift when you activate the first one. You hear that? If it stops, you'll have to start over. Isn't all this a bit excessive? You can never be too careful, then. starting. Alright, I will simply hang out here by this light. Can you let me know when they're over, Lama? Hopefully no one missed that little cutscene. And I'm very curious about this pixel mod thing you have going on. And thank you so much for finding me worthy of that, by the way. You what? <laughs> I am very, very honored that you found me worthy of your sub. Very honored. I also hope everyone's enjoying the game so far. I admit I am mostly rambling and quiet and back and forth between the two out of sheer nervousness. I am terrified. Oh, that's so good. <laughs> you stole a lot of lamb's dragon skills. I still find that funny. do Phasmo again sometime, Lemon, for everyone. That was way too much fun. In fact, if I get too scared, why don't we just go and play Phasmo after this? Because surely I need to make my chest leap out, or my heart leap out of my chest, with more heart leaping out of my chest. Oh, I have a feeling I will be shrieking in this one when the time comes. Right now I am extremely cautious and on the edge of my seat. One to soundboard. At the moment, I'm more edge of my seat. <laughs> Fuck this shit, I'm out. No thanks, don't mind me. I'ma just <laughs> grab my stuff and leave. Okay. On a scale of one to that, I am more on the edge of my sh seat with anxiety. 
because I have a feeling that something is... Yes, that, pretty much. I'm very much that. I have this feeling that something is stalking me and I can't see it. So I don't know where it is or what to do. So I'm more anxious at the moment than scared. But if that changes, I will let you know. <laughs> oh, why thank you. <laughs> Oh no. Let me let me guess. Is it the infamous water part? Because I've heard that there's an infamous water part. Oh great. I don't look forward to that. I don't look forward to that at all. Oh dear. Welcome back, darlings! The, sorry for the ad breaks, nicking up on everybody. Blamont was supposed to be my spotter, but it seems to suck up on them too. I swear they have stealth these days. <laughs> well, Blamont, come now. I keep telling you I'm a masochist. Oh dear. Ooh, what did I just do? No, it wasn't that button. No, it wasn't that button. I did something. What did I just do? I somehow leaned, leant sideward. Oh, how it did. I hit a button, but. break something. Hold on. Oh, calm down. You, come here. Let me see if this works. I don't know if it will, but... Brandenburg Castle. I honestly, I did not know that was going to do that. I saw a glass case and I went, ah, I wonder. Another region rich with lore is Altstadt's. Within the East Prussian. For centuries, there have been stories surrounding the hamlet and its neighbor, Brandenburg. The quiet forest-clad mountains dressed with scattered lakes is as picturesque as can a bit the area is haunted by the dark. Ask any local and you will hear proof of the widespread superstition. All travelers should indulge themselves in such conversation. It certainly serve as exciting entertainment. All of them have their own twists on the tale. There are some motives that keep reappearing. Gatherers. The story reaches all the way back to the time of the Thirty Years' War that soldiers who abandoned their duty got lost in the cold dark woods and were forever damned to roam the grounds. Their bodies, wrought by their tainted souls, have left them disfigured. Many have cited them over the years and described them as horrid revenants. Oh, are you having trouble hearing me, darling? I doing all right. Well, to be fair, this is amnesia. We're all a little crazy here. But is there anything I can do to improve my microphone? Don't 
mind me switching over to OB Astro. Let's see. No, I have myself turned up as high as I possibly can. It's so strange. All right, as long as you're sure. Ah, their bodies wrought by the tainted souls have left them disfigured and, and empty of essence. Many have said, oh yes, the horde ribbon. They move silently through the woods, shying away from any beholder. They are called gatherers, as they seem to follow some ambition to steal living creatures. It is their prey which can be heard struggling inside damp burlap sacks dragged behind them which reveal their presence. What dark scheme do they follow? Is it undone? Hendrik Cornelius Agrippa the well-known Erdulite visited Altstadt at the start of the 16th century. He resided in the local inn for a fortnight as he looked for the remnants of kingdoms past. During his stay, all the prominent members of society paid notice, and he is mentioned in many records of the time. One day, he went to investigate a burrow in the northwestern glades, only to have never been seen again. Henrik is known to have passed away in Grenoble some ten years later. He dismissed the notion of ever visiting Altstadt, which makes you wonder what really happened. Who was this mysterious man who visited the sleepy hamlet in the woods? And... Portal Baron. The Baron of Brennenburg lives a reclusive life with his family at his castle nearby Altstadt. And like most of those of noble birth, rumors are inherited alongside with Researching the history reveals little before the castle was consumed by fire in the late 16th century. Rebuilt by Alexander, a nobleman from the Rhinelands claiming the role as protector of the Prussian state. Alexander helped the region to flourish and remained popular throughout his presumed lifetime. The family has always been secretive when it comes to lineage and heritage. Therefore, the birth and death of Alexander and his offspring has never been fully fed the idea that the Baron is in fact the one in the same who came from the West over 300 years ago, lived through the time of occupation, and joined the coveted Order of the Black Eagle along with the great leaders of his country. Oh, you're not crazy. I assure you. Well, not completely. I hope to start the timer. Got it. <sighs> oh, is that so? Okay. Very, very good to know. Thank you. Thank you deeply. I'll start uh, lighting things. Definitely do that then. Regarding the closing of the wine cellar, Windhelm and his fools have endangered my research long enough with their absent minded handling of the human vessels. The sheriff is keeping a watchful eye on the forest and is killing my trusty servants. It's just a matter of time until they follow the trail to Brennenburg. I need to lock Wilhelm and his men up to avoid a further investigation. 
wine cellar will therefore be sealed off until the matter has been handled. Either the king's men leave or they will starve, whatever comes first, and they can rot for all I care. Maybe I'll feed them some wine. It should in a sense solve both my problems. Quite cruel. Lock people in the wine cellar. <gasps> what the fuck? Was that just instinct and not something I should have done? Like, was that needless? I Did I put myself back in the closet for nothing? Hello? I'm putting myself in the closet. But I fought so hard to get out of it to begin with. Lit. I can just chill here. Alright, so we have the key. Now we simply need to get back to the other room. I'm assuming that's the key to the wine cellar. Ah, yep. Wine cellar key. Gotta get back there. And I remember the way. Never mind. Caved in. Here we go. I did not want to even see what that was. Nope, 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 nope. Again, I put myself in the closet. on the safe side I'm leaving that open. It's the door. There it is. Oh come on, you're a brave fae, you're an arch fae of reincarnation. Nothing can hurt you. Perfectly fine. Rendezvousing back to the wine cellar. Run, 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 A handful of sand trickled from the crumbling stone ceiling and pushed down into the brim of his hat. He braced himself, even into the cavern, suddenly shifted to the Whoa! What the? hurts. I'll be down. 
jumped. There's no way down there. Okay, didn't hurt that. Whew! Alright then. I'm guessing the wine cellar is next. Aha! Can you hear me again? Had a slight issue. Thought I lost everyone for a moment. Whew! Lamont, on your scale of one to soundboard, I am now sitting at a nice four. Now what? Laboratory, or oh, I need to get him to light. All right, calm down, calm down, calm down. All right, so laboratory or wine cellar? What would you recommend? I know I have the wine cellar key, but just in case... Wine cellar? Alright. Well, where'd we go then? That should reduce the lag a little bit. Oh, okay. I'm brave, I'm brave, I'm brave, I'm brave, I'm brave, I'm brave, I'm brave. How do I... There we are. Desert dunes were like laves of the subject's sluggish sea, while the caravan moved and the land appeared motionless. Very dark in here. I have no choice. at least a light. Whew. Ah. 
I don't feel good about this place. Not one. is deathly afraid of the dark. I'm actually having to use my tinder boxes now. But if I'm strategic about it, I shouldn't need to. Mend it. Why does I feel like I'm not alone in here? I get the very distinct feeling I am not alone in here. Are we making wine? Stay there, please. Well, at least these bottles break. I really get the sinking feeling that I'm not alone in here and I don't like that one bit. I am absolutely, positively sure we are not alone. Something there. Oh, my God. I 
I'm not alone. He's literally right there. If I just stay in the light long enough, he'll come back down. <laughs> ha! 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 Blended. I'm assuming the longer I stay in the light, the, uh... The better it'll be? Like, he'll recover, right? Because I had no choice. I had to kind of hide in the, in the corner of the room. I had to check and see if he was there. I'm guzzling my water bottle. Lamb, I am escalating myself on the scarometer to a five. Uh, I don't think he's going to get any better. He is improving. Okay, I just have to stay in the light and he'll improve. We're just going to sit here for a nice second and just calm down and remind ourselves that we're perfectly fine. A maximum of level two. So what does that mean? Slight headache? Well, then we're gonna stay here until we have a slight headache. <sighs> Let's me calm down as well. So, um, my only response is, what was that? What in the sweet starry hell was that? I, I wanted absolutely nothing to do with that. It looked like a person. Oh, I see. Oh, oh dear, okay. I see. Um, oh dear. Ah. Uh, we do have two. Oh, a medical bar bracer to improve health and heal. Okay. I did not want us picking up the health. I don't know what this is for, but I'm assuming we need to find things throughout the uh, wine cellar. Not that I don't run around to try and find everything anyway. But um, that thing is going to make things difficult. I'm assuming, as long as we're in the dark, it can't see us. So is my hope. So I have to wait until he gets his light headache to be able to move. 
because it's it's completely dark from here on. There's not a whole lot of places you can go and just chill out in. I'm assuming he's actively recovering. Light again. All right. Got the orphan. Big strong fay. I can hurt you. You're a big strong fay. Ourselves a little hidey hole. Okay. Have our hidey hole right here. this we're gonna go in the hole we're gonna grab this we're gonna go in the hole
door shut. I doubt that is going to hold anything. You know what? Or we could have just trapped ourselves in here with this thing. Emergency, uh, Yorin? Okay. Sorry, darlings. I'm going to have to end the stream for a little bit. I'll be right back, however, as soon as possible. So, fortunately, things will save for us while we're here. But I should be at back shortly. There's a bit of an event. Be back soon.